Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome back to some more Hitman. Before the release of the final map, we'll be taking a quick stroll through Colorado, completing the Silent Assassin Suit Only Challenge. In this mission, we must murder 4 people, and in order to do so very efficiently, we need a lockpick, and since we're adjusting the standard loadout, we'll be also taking the Absolution Suit. Once in game, we need to go through the nearby window and turn right, while keeping pace along the wall. The first target will soon come to this area, where we can kill him by blowing up an extinguisher. First, we gotta go over all the haste stacks and take out this guard. By throwing a coin and luring him nearby, we can easily grab him and place his unconscious body in the storage. The target will already be ready to die, so all we must do is get in position and shoot the little red thing. After a moment it will explode and an accidental death will strike Sean right in the butt. As soon as he dies, we must rush forward. By jumping through one window and then waiting for the mechanic to pass, we can quickly get to our second target. We must make sure the mechanic near the car isn't turned towards our position, otherwise he will see us passing by. Once through the door, we can notice a large hay block hanging right above the area where the target will be passing through. This right here is a game of patience, as we must spend around 8 years waiting for her to finally pass through this area. Then, at the right moment, shoot the rope. Jebem ti majku. Shoot the rope properly. Maya Pavati is down. The rope will bring another accidental murder and we can continue towards our next target. Carefully passing by the nearby guards, we get to a gate and a person who is on the other side. We gotta wait until the person turns around and goes towards the wall. Then we can go out and towards the next gate. This gate will have two guards nearby, and if we are quick enough, we can simply lockpick the gate before they turn around and nicely avoid more waiting time. As we're through, we gotta go right over the ramp and then wait again until the guard near the window and the guard inside the shed sync up in a way where we can take out the guard outside without the guard inside seeing it happen. What? What It is important here to leave the weapon from the guard on the ground, because once the target enters the shed, we can trigger the distraction, which will get the second guard to come outside. He will see the gun and go away with it, while we can lockpick the door and take out the target. Lockpicking is recommended because if we enter the shed too soon, the target will see us as he is turning around. Kako hunted jeboti bog mater u pičku idiote, kako? Once he is taken out, we can take the basement key that he had and move ourselves towards it. We gotta follow the wall while avoiding all the guards, and once at the training yard, we gotta wait until they're done with the push-ups to proceed through the gate. As we approach the next gate, we need to be careful not to get seen by the guard on the other side, so once he turns around, we can lockpick it and proceed to the right, and then left over the little wall. The basement entrance is nearby, but first we have to get rid of one of these two guards. One will eventually lean on this crate, and we can simply pull him over and hide him in the storage. Since the camera is nearby, we can shoot it from here to make sure we don't get recorded as we go down. The door will be locked, so the lockpick will be necessary again. The basement will have one guard, which can be taken out relatively quickly, using either coins, throwing something into his face, or with a distraction. Before we can access the shelter in the basement, we need to visit the house. If the timing was right, the final target will be arriving to the house soon after we enter it. That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Strange to see her as part of this crowd. A good way to make sure she gets taken out without fucking anything up is by throwing a coin to the side, and as she gets distracted, we can choke the bitch. There's not a lot of time to hide her, so it is definitely a good idea to get her to the storage area as soon as possible and enter the basement to hide. Or we can hide in the storage with her, either is fine. Once the guard who enters the room leaves, we can go upstairs to take the 3D printed face. Another guard will be patrolling, so it's a good idea to wait on the stairs until he passes. Triggering the 3D printing process can be done right after the person in the room turns around. This needs to be done fast, because the other dude will be coming into the room right after. What are you doing? 
Jebem ti mater, eto, to radim. Once triggered, we have to run to the room on the opposite side, because the guard will be coming back and the person will inspect the 3D printer. After a few moments, they will resume normal behavior and we can sneak up to the printer and take the face. Since nobody should be around to cause problems, we can simply enter the basement again and go to the tornado shelter, which will eventually end the mission. This map definitely has the most difficult Silent Assassin Suit Only challenge and I believe that there's maybe only around 3 or 4 ways of doing it mostly because there's a lot of targets and a lot of guards. Thanks for watching and I hope you are prepared for the full release of Hitman. I can't wait to see the final map myself. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your butt.